Sports, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme today. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams, and it's all up next. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a big matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams. that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game.
used to tell me all the time I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He I think he knew right away that he would get to his primary guy. I think he wrote that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage. Knew where the pressure was going to come from. So now, I know how to beat that, but that's what he did. They clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And then efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4 of 4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Play action. Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cobb. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Rams are on the move. They've got another first down. If he gets a first down, let's take a look at Cooper Cobb 10 last season because it was one of the greatest years for a receiver in NFL history. 145 catches, 1,947 yards, both second most in a season of all time. Truly MVP caliber performance for the Super Bowl champs, and he capped it off in the Super Bowl himself as the MVP. They'll run on first down with Akers. Oh, what a move. And taking it to the 15 yard line before he's run down. And a nice game, 13 yards at a time, and another first down. Right the opening line, push them all the way down. That's a lot of the reason why I was part of the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play call, and you go through all this stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's coming like clockwork right now. the 15 it's first and 10 from the red zone now Stafford sideline throw it's complete and a nice job there keeping the toes in bounds and it's good for a gain of six and that will bring up second down a good completion right there and again Charles good time in the pocket that offensive line on this opening drive been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket, able to look around, find his target, and deliver. He's got to make sure he tells our offensive line in the huddle. Thanks, fellas. Let's keep it going. A couple of vets. Stafford and Robinson there. First down, Rams. And so far, a nice methodical opening drive. This has to do with a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Akers. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Here we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they have been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. Now a play fake and it's Stanford. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He's got a lot tighter near the end zone. And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your left pocket. You can sit through here and give up an interception. You come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. This Buffalo defense has stood their ground. This is third and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And now Carter going to be stopped up short. He did not get there. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal. We got a good battle developing down around the goal line in the trenches. We certainly do. They went fullback dive. He's going to ask for it again because he doesn't get many opportunities to carry the ball. So you know he's going to be determined. That might be the right call to come back with it one more time. Fourth down, and we go from one man to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams' field goal. 
from the left hash. He'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Gaze kick. Gaze Play fake. That's caught. 
caught by Howard. And he is going to lose yardage here. Second and 12. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he has been at the last round. He goes down right there. Maybe a gain of a yard that time. But yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this run. Agreed. And they really needed that one for confidence just to feel a little bit better. By them stopping me on one run. This drive is going pretty well. I could come right back out. First and ten. Gonna run the sweep here. This is Cobb. He will push his way down about the 14. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there by the guys on defense. Diagnosing the Jake Sweep and putting it down. Yeah. 
On second and nine, Stafford. From right side, going to be caught by Higby. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. The gain of five, and now it's third and four. It's not cool about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now he's a much better opportunity to come back. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Out of the gun, Stafford. Touchdown!
First and ten on their side of midfield at the 47. After the interception, here's Stafford. Rolling to his right. That'll be caught by Cobb. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain and now second down. He was out there waving his arms. You got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Here's a run with Akers on second down. They had three yards on first down. Defensively, we always know he is tough and on support. And I think the way that he gets them is he has to tell what he's going to do with the whole team and staff. Great job of scouting to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now Stafford.
this one up to about the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. When you start that offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it with basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves them with a second and three. You know that's a run that will create space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. A good run, got seven on first, here's second and three. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. Devin Singletary's in his fourth year in Buffalo, and he's got a lot of best and carries in the yards, and he's hoping in 2022 is when the Buffalo runs him to his first 1,000-yard season. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. Got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he got the defense. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Singletary trying the left side. It was the linebacker Leonard Floyd on the stop. They created a nice sustained drive. Plays like that, a nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Allen now looks to throw. On the throw, running too much that time. Let's face it, they want to get back into the game. These are kind of throws you got to hit. It's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him. And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped the pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. This one caught by Crowder. And he gets his down inside the 35. But now four yards later, and they'll bring out fourth down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up that right and then cut straight across the field. The ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. So on fourth down, now he's tied up now, so the ball the field goal unit. On that dash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left, didn't get there anyway. It's no good, and the deficit will stay at first quarters. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Now, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And oh, that's a big kick, but now we just, if they move it short, like, whoa, what happened? And that's, that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong. They have plenty of play. Because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Here we are up to the 42. No doubt about it, a really nice job there on the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. And that means your defensive edge, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Stafford's throw pulled in by Robinson here. They're going to take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's a game of 11 and a first down in May. And defensively, they were his own covers there. You have to be the first losing play against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone. Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to zone 
good scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Meanwhile, Stafford slow here, hard in by Cotton. And he's going to be taken down right at the front of the yard line. the sweep here this is cut and this won't be enough to pick up the first a gain of two on third down tonight they've been good three for four thus far they're up against a third and one situation they'll try and run for this with Akers and he's going to get this inside the third here 42 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far that's good tough running right off the middle but the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace and change direction that's all the game result Frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit, and then not even see the ball go through the post. But a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. Singletary to get the drive started. Oh boy, this defense again really making things tough and they stopping for no game. Brightman's definitely not been there for a year in the first half, but I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. The loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Singletary again. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes for the leg of the chair. Two yards the loss, and now third and two. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package is wrapped up the runner for a loss. go nickel here defensively on third. Now Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Dangerous spot for him to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered. 
because when the defense got them, they were already within the shadow of the goalposts. And then you're yelling at your own defense, sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. On fourth down, Matt Arise is set on the punt. Back deep, Brandon Powell. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And the Rams are going offense here for the first and ten. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. Yeah, difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. And now a lot of right there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It's only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the 44, Stafford gets this into the hands of the tight end Henry. Down. And the 
really been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39 yard line. From the gun, it's Allen. Fighting a safety valve here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. That's a good job to have. We do talk about this a lot, though. Second one we see their job. The same thing for receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. Ball start. Awesome. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one was accepted. Still second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Throwing now is Allen. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slam. And they're going to work this down about the 32-yard line. You can see the time and effort and time that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up at halftime. Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two-minute drill. They'll throw it on third down there, but he cannot connect. The other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they like some matchups that they had. Thought they could exploit them, but they will do something that way. Again, 
at Stafford. Connecting with Cup here on the out run. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 24 yards. A new set of downs. Andrew Bay Strong pick up of 16 yards. That's the third time on this drive that these two connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off in good chunks of yardage as shown by that last ball. First down, Stafford here. Next-gen stats from that first half for the Bills. And they didn't get a whole lot accomplished through the air in those first two quarters of play. They'll need to up their game if they want to rally all the way back. Meanwhile, for the Rams, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. And he returns this to the 22. The Bills are all fans set to take over to begin quarter number three. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. The third quarter strikes with a run by Singletary. And he is going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the last second and 12. This defense is just playing getting after him. They have not given up much of anything in this game. Case in point right there. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. To throw, it's Allen. Completes it to Davis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, we talk all the time about that situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That's a nice play there. Throwing on first down is Allen. Right back to Davis. It's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pick up of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and a yard at the 37 yard line. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. We'll get this out wide right to Singletary. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. We see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Rush coming in, he's taken down. Time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless really in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. It's caught by Davis. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And now it's yours if they need it there. play of this drive. This is third and four. Here's Allen. The catch, it's Crowder. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, they talked about at halftime, whatever it was, it worked. they look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that they're very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He finds his tight end, Allen. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Charles is running back, and he's got him complete. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Picking up yardage and inches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Again, 
Prince Allen. This pass caught at the four. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. Simple drag right here. Lined up the to try to work his way back and hold his feet. He put himself in touch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, the defender was right on him. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Allen going to try and keep it. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Bills are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. So that, Charles, their first score of the ball game, obviously, coming here in the third quarter. Is that going to be enough to energize the troops? It's a great question, and we'll wait to see the answer, but it's finally something for them to build on. Now they know that they can actually score against that defense. The Bills are ready up for it to play for Allen will try to throw for it. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair of them here to narrow that deficit a bit further. And it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples throughout a ball game. There's a great example right there. Kick this one away, and off it goes. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And this is going to be blunt bang for the Bills touchdown. Well, not exactly the way that they drew it up hard, but certainly not going to complain because the end was a touchdown. A great outcome for the offensive side, but a crushing play defensively. You make a quick stop, force a fumble, and you see them take the fumble all the way in for six points. Now the challenge becomes not getting down and going out and continuing to make plays and hoping the ball bounces your way the next time. The Bills are running up for a two-point conversion. They'll try and throw for it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to really not be complete. Now they had the big play on the field here, Charlie. They were looking for the one-two punch, but they couldn't get that two-point conversion. I have to wonder, were they scheduled to go ahead and kick the extra point, but after a play like that, you talk about the one-two punch, right? It's a momentum play. Go for two and really try to capitalize, and that's what they attempted. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And not really risking it with fumble, but sit on this one. It's a touchback. You know, look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. On first and ten, Stafford. Caught on left side by Robinson. And he's going to be dropped following a pick up a seven past the 30 to the 32. Big love to just drop that one touchdown. And here it's a great play, so be it. Be it. Get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run 
some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. To throw again on second down. Stafford, from left side, complete to cut. And he'll bring it up here to right hand. This big game continues. Ten catches now, and another first down. Here 
Here's Stafford. Got an open man, found in Jefferson. Touchdown, Rams! chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. This team will never be good teammates, buddy. I mean, right now, it is. This has to be awful. Get at least two first downs. Get their defense just to sit down. They won't give up the touchdown. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A give up the middle to Singletary. Five yards on first down, but I'll just take one yard pick up here in second. That game contained again there, Charles. That's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Out to the left, he's got his tight end knots. And he is going to have the Bills first down. Although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four and he got four on third down. First down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. This one caught by Davis. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. What they should hope for is when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he'll be brought down right at the 45 yard line. That's just a game of a couple of the scramble. And now it's third down. The plan was clearly to challenge that by sending him a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last lap by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Now Allen off the bootleg. And this is going to be incomplete. <laughs> Away for the second time. 
personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. This is one of the dangers of going for the punt block. And you know before you even call going for the block, it's a automatic first down. Play. So many factors come into it. They went after it, and you know punters, what they do? They leave their leg up in there, an extra count or two, hoping someone comes into contact. So a big break. The roughing the kicker call on fourth down leads to first and ten. Singletary here running out of the goal. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in a yard. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down with the arm, you've got to pay it off with some points. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now Allen. This one caught by Crowley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He's up to 70 yards receiving now. As that last catch gets him the first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great work to really show the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. here in the final minute of the third. And a great example there, just getting the feet in in a tough spot. It seems like every year these guys get better at this. Well, I think the drills get better that they work on, training camp, off-season work, OTAs, but also a lot of these guys have games backgrounds, ballet backgrounds, and they take that and carry it over to the football field. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. Lead is trimmed down to 10. Makes the score. That time, a nine play drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. From there, going back to the Rams now. That's now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at the 20. He starts with a give to Akers. And he'll take this ahead for a four. Second down coming up. They're trying to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let you guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. That's the and they're not going to get to the line. They're on another play, so they will switch it on as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. To throw on second and six, Stafford to the right side, and complete to Jefferson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
That's a gain of 13. First down, Rams. That's because to me, this is what is known as a good thing. You score here, and you have this one with them. The fact that they're playing with confidence, they're not playing with them. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cobb. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a four. If these guys are playing ball, that's a huge drive. The ball is down, start down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Two yards good enough for first. I think we're seeing the effect of what's going on starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slow with that front seven. Reacting to the football rules and body balls and boxing. Slowing them down. And they're really starting to take over in this game. play action. Here's Stafford. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Partner, that would look like it was over. I mean, they had control of the football. And the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar. Two-score game. So hold on here. Not done in the fourth. And the Bills getting set to go. They trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. Time to see what this offense has left in the tank. It's the tight end, Knox. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. But every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They really need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try to get the ball back again. Going to give this one to Singletary. And a good game here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Good yardage there in first down. Exactly what you want. You get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And they're smart. You're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Ball resting on the 10-yard line. It's second and one. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. They can muster a little bit there. They'll be left with a third. It's a very short one. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. This is caught. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab for Josh Allen. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Here's Bash now for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a Buffalo touchdown.
So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And not willing to risk another third for the city on this one. It's a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get sent to take possession. Now, Charles, of course, you got to remember, last possession they fumbled, it led to a touchdown. One score game here. We've got to be careful. And this is where coaching and training really comes into play, doesn't it? What, is it? what does everyone say after an error? Next play, move on, next drive. That mantra has to come to the front. They've got to take care of business right here and act like the last series just didn't happen. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. Man, open is Robinson. And they get it out just short of the 45 at the 44. Yeah. I'm yeah. starting play a good one. Give him that team. How about this aggressive approach? Got the lead. First four. Continue to do the good play. What do you think about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against the team. Then they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watch that Atlanta? Our apologies. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Stanford. Now get this one to cut complete. And they're well past midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40. 15 more yards there. Hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you. 
extra point by Gaines.
quarterback? I think he continued to do so. On first and ten, Stafford. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. It's a great play. He was getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Remember, they had a nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that could spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? To try again after the sack. Stafford. Another completion for Cup. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Chunk of 
be a pitch before being dropped inside the 40. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. On the defensive side of the ball, that's the definition of frustrating. You get them to fourth down, and then you allow a chunk play like that in the passing game. Almost felt as if that play was drawn up in the dirt on the sideline. They pulled that from a game plan that wasn't this game, and they still made it work. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I do believe it's probably say they were caught on the call. They decided not to throw it as a first down. I give him credit every couple of times to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. From the 31, Allen. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you where he said. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Here's Allen on first and ten. So they got one of the two touchdowns they needed. Now for the onside kick. And the Rams have got it. And that should just about seal this one. Fourth quarter, it felt like they needed the third quarter back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of 
percent of the time the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here i just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game i'm still waiting to see that number is empirical Take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now Stafford. First down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Stafford down to a knee and with it, he's going to ensure his guys a victory. 